Lignin is a complex polymer of aromatic alcohols known as monolignols. It is most commonly derived from wood, and is an integral part of the secondary cell walls of plants and some algae. Lignin was first mentioned in 1813 by the Swiss botanist A. P. de Candel, who described it as a fibrous, tasteless material, insoluble in water and alcohol but soluble in weak alkaline solutions, and which can be precipitated from solution using acid. He named the substance a euro oe line the euro, which is derived from the Latin word lignum, meaning wood. It is one of the most abundant organic polymers on Earth, exceeded only by cellulose. Lignin constitutes 30% of non-fossil organic carbon and a quarter to a third of the dry mass of wood. The composition of lignin varies from species to species. An example of composition from an aspen sample is 63.4% carbon, 5.9% hydrogen, 0.7% ash, and 30% oxygen, corresponding approximately to the formulin. As a biopolymer, lignin is unusual because of its heterogeneity and lack of a defined primary structure. Its most commonly noted function is the support through strengthening of wood in trees. Global production of lignin is around 1.1 million metric tons per year and is used in a wide range of low volume, niche applications where the form but not the quality is important. Biological function lignin fills the spaces in the cell wall between cellulose, hemicellulose, and pectin components, especially in xylem tracheids, vessel elements and scleroid cells. It is covalently linked to hemicellulose and, therefore, cross-links different plant polysaccharides, conferring mechanical strength to the cell wall and by extension the plant as a whole. It is particularly abundant in compression wood but scarce in tension wood, which are types of reaction wood. Lignin plays a crucial part in conducting water in plant stems. The polysaccharide components of plant cell walls are highly hydrophilic and thus permeable to water, whereas lignin is more hydrophobic. The cross-linking of polysaccharides by lignin is an obstacle for water absorption to the cell wall. Thus, lignin makes it possible for the plant's vascular tissue to conduct water efficiently. Lignin is present in all vascular plants, but not in bryophytes supporting the idea that the original function of lignin was restricted to water transport. However, it is present in red algae, which seems to suggest that the common ancestor of plants and red algae also synthesized lignin. This would suggest that its original function was structural. It plays this role in the red alga caliarthron, where it supports joints between calcified segments. Another possibility is that the lignin in red algae and in plants are a result of convergent evolution, and not of a common origin. Ecological function Lignin plays a significant role in the carbon cycle, sequestering atmospheric carbon into the living tissues of woody perennial vegetation. Lignin is one of the most slowly decomposing components of dead vegetation, contributing a major fraction of the material that becomes humus as it decomposes. The resulting soil humus, in general, increases the photosynthetic productivity of plant communities growing on a site as the site transitions from disturbed mineral soil through the stages of ecological succession, by providing increased cation exchange capacity in the soil and expanding the capacity of moisture retention between flood and drought conditions. Economic significance Highly lignified wood is durable and therefore a good raw material for many applications. It is also an excellent fuel since lignin yields more energy when burned than cellulose. Mechanical, or high-yield pulp used to make newsprint contains most of the lignin originally present in the wood. This lignin is responsible for newsprints yellowing with age. Lignin must be removed from the pulp before high-quality bleached paper can be manufactured. In sulfate pulping, lignin is removed from wood pulp as sulfonates. These lignosulfonates have several uses, dispersants in high-performance cement applications, water treatment formulations and textile dyes, additives in specialty oil field applications and agricultural chemicals, raw materials for several chemicals, such as vanillin, DMSO, ethanol, xylitol sugar, and humic acid, environmentally sustainable dust suppression agent for roads. The first investigations into commercial use of lignin were reported by Marathon Corporation a paper company based in Rothschild, Wisconsin, starting in 1927. 
the first class of products that showed promise with leather tanning agents. The lignin chemical business of Marathon was operated for many years as Marathon Chemicals. It is now known as Lignotec USA, Inc., and is owned by the Norwegian company Borregard. Lignin removed via the craft process is usually burned for its fuel value, providing energy to run the mill and its associated processes. In 1998, a German company, Technero, developed a process for turning lignin into a substance, called Arboform, which behaves identically to plastic for injection molding. Therefore, it can be used in place of plastic for several applications. When the item is discarded, it can be burned just like wood. In 2007, lignin extracted from shrubby willow was successfully used to produce expanded polyurethane foam. In 2012, it was shown carbon fiber can be produced from lignin instead of from fossil oil. In 2013, the Flemish Institute for Biotechnology was supervising a trial of 448 poplar trees genetically engineered to produce less lignin so that they would be more suitable for conversion into biofuels. Structure. Lignin is a cross-linked racemic macromolecule with molecular masses in excess of 10,000 U. It is relatively hydrophobic and aromatic in nature. The degree of polymerization in nature is difficult to measure, since it is fragmented during extraction and the molecule consists of various types of substructures that appear to repeat in a haphazard manner. Different types of lignin have been described depending on the means of isolation. There are three monolignal monomers, methoxylated to various degrees, p coumaryl alcohol, coniferal alcohol, and shinable alcohol. These lignols are incorporated into lignin in the form of the phenylpropanoids p-hydroxyphenyl, guaraisyl, and syringyl, respectively. Gymnosperms have a lignin that consists almost entirely of G with small quantities of H. That of dicotyledonous angiosperms is more often than not a mixture of G and S, and monocotyledonous lignin is a mixture of all three. Many grasses have mostly G, while some palms have mainly S. All lignins contain small amounts of incomplete or modified monolignols, and other monomers are prominent in non-woody plants. Thioglycolysis is an analytical technique for lignin quantitation. Lignin structure can also be studied by computational simulation. Biosynthesis Lignin biosynthesis begins in the cytosol with the synthesis of glucosylated monolignols from the amino acid phenylalanine. These first reactions are shared with the phenylpropanoid pathway. The attached glucose renders them water-soluble and less toxic. Once transported through the cell membrane to the apoplast, the glucose is removed and the polymerization commences. Much about its anabolism is not understood even after more than a century of study. The polymerization step, that is a radical-radical coupling, is catalyzed by oxidative enzymes. Both peroxidase and lacase enzymes are present in the plant cell walls, and it is not known whether one or both of these groups participates in the polymerization. Low molecular weight oxidants might also be involved. The oxidative enzyme catalyzes the formation of monolignal radicals. These radicals are often said to undergo uncatalyzed coupling to form the lignin polymer, but this hypothesis has been recently challenged. The alternative theory that involves an unspecified biological control is however not widely accepted. Biodegradation, biodegradation of lignin by brown rot, soft rot, or white rot fungi leads to destruction of wood on the forest floor on man-made structures such as fences and wooden buildings. However biodegradation of lignin is a necessary prerequisite for processing biofuel from plant raw materials. Current processing setups show some problematic residuals after processing the digestible or degradable contents. The improving of lignin degradation would drive the output from biofuel processing to better gain or better efficiency factor. Lignin is indigestible by animal enzymes but some fungi and bacteria are able to secrete lignin acids that can biodegrade the polymer. The details of the biodegradation are not yet well understood and the pathways depends on the type of wood decay. The enzymes involved may employ free radicals for depolymerization reactions. Well understood ligninolytic enzymes are manganese peroxidase and lignin peroxidase. Because it is cross-linked with the other cell wall components, 
lignin minimizes the accessibility of cellulose and hemicellulose to microbial enzymes such as cellulose dehydrogenase. Hence, in general lignin is associated with reduced digestibility of the overall plant biomass, which helps defend against pathogens and pests. Lignin degradation is done by microorganisms like fungi and bacteria. Lignin peroxidase is a hemoprotein from the white rot fungus Phenolwachalet chrysosporium with a variety of lignin degrading reactions, all dependent on hydrogen peroxide to incorporate molecular oxygen into reaction products. There are also several other microbial enzymes that are believed to be involved in lignin biodegradation, such as manganese peroxidase, lacase. Lignin related chemicals can be further processed by bacteria. For instance, the aerobic gram negative soil bacterium Sphingomonas porcimobilis is able to degrade lignin related biphenyl chemical compounds. Pyrolysis Pyrolysis of lignin during the combustion of wood or charcoal production yields a range of products, of which the most characteristic ones are methoxy substituted phenols. Of those, the most important are guaraical and syringol in their derivatives. Their presence can be used to trace a smoke source to a wood fire. In cooking, lignin in the form of hardwood is an important source of these two chemicals, which impart the characteristic aroma and taste to smoked foods such as barbecue. The main flavor compounds of smoked ham are guaraical, and its 4, 5, and 6 methyl derivatives, as well as 2, 6 dimethylphenol. These compounds are produced by thermal breakdown of lignin in the wood used in the smokehouse. Detection A solution of hydrochloric acid and fluoroglucinol is also used for the detection of lignin. A brilliant red color develops, owing to the presence of coniferaldehyde groups in the lignin. References External links, Technero website